Hey everybody, welcome back to Shay and Kay Play Skies of Arcadia. I'm Kevin. I'm Shay. And uh, last time we fought a pirate ship, and it was awesome. Yes. And we're dropping this guy off with these guys <laughs> for reasons. Um, of course, I just want to shank him, but. <laughs> no killing. Nazar National Guard. <sighs> Greetings, welcome home. We got the fleet that guards the southern Daniel Strait. We'll escort you from this point. Ooh, that would be lovely. Lead the way. But first, this guy's to give us a passport or something, right? That's how this works? Hopefully, unless he's a greedy bastard. <laughs> uh, I mean, he might be. Uh, thanks very much. It would appear that you have safe brought me safely home. As I promised, here's the fallen passport. Yay, don't we need, like, two more? Uh... I don't know. Isn't this your line? Oh, sorry. I, I just literally just started reading it. That was it. Um, all right. So this is what the passport looks like. Very perceptive of you. I know, and she's touching <coughs> his shoulder. Oh. Ooh. Uh, we can finally get to Vala with this. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> Staring into each other's eyes. <laughs> Hand on shoulder. You must get going. May the red moon watch over you and light your path. All right. Cool. I mean, different colored moons? Okay. Weird. I would kind of be terrified of a red moon. Uh, yeah. After Vala, let's not waste any more time. Aye, aye, little Jack, full rudder, turning 180 degrees to Vala. Head full. Who's little Jack? That's the name of the boat. Oh! <laughs> I totally spaced that. <laughs> no, it's our it's our parrot that steers the ship for us. Uh. You received a fallen passport. Yay! Hey, congratulations to us. Uh, I don't. Can we go back that way and like talk to these guys? And that's a cool looking city. Oh. Yeah. No authorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. Okay. Uh, okie dokie. Whose permission do we have to have? Uh, Nasser? Huh. Wasn't that the, like, former president of Egypt? Uh, something like that. I think maybe the pronunciation or spelling is a bit off, but yeah. Alright, so, good. We can see where this go- Oh god! It's a scorpion fly. And a bloat Scorpion flesh. wasp. And I'll praise Helix. Ring. Did she did you ever watch Avatar The Last Airbender? Can you not hit seriously? Um yes. A bit. Okay. So Sokka had a boomerang. Just throwing that out there. Ow. Okay. I don't know. That just reminded me of Sokka for a moment. I liked did, him. He was a good character. Does the thing have the the spider wasp or scorpion thing have a name? It's a scorpion wasp. Uh, it, it did. I need to select it again before I can see it. Scrofly. Terrifying. Scrofly. Whatever. It's it's gonna be a scorpion wasp. It's gonna be the thing that's gonna haunt my dreams tonight. Yes. I don't know. I. I see them all the time, so... Well, we can officially call Arizona a terrifying place to live then, I guess. Yeah. Because you guys have poisonous spiders, too. We do, all over. Uh... Crazy. Why would anybody live there if it's like a million billion degrees and there's poisonous things left, right, and center? <laughs> it's cheap to live here. <laughs> Not to go to school, but to live here. Ah, I see. It's yeah. Sacred Island. We gotta find this Volan Empire place. Uh, okay. Good to know. Um. There's a ship. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. On a side note, I think it's probably more expensive to go to school in California, because this place is just expensive in general. Yeah. Well, housing is, is higher, too. It sure is. Capturing some fish. I still don't know what this is for, if I'm totally honest. 
They're fish coins. Oh. Time for some more battles. Maybe, maybe I, I would be so that. happy if they had sand dollars in this game. Sand dollars? Yeah. Like the things that are on the beach? Yeah. Okay. Like, that's our money, sand dollars. Sky sand dollars? Because we're in the sky. Yeah, but we're still pirates God. and it's kind of, uh, you know... Drachma, hit something for once in your life. Uh, sure. Do we need to sing the song again? No, we don't. I'm okay. Uh, are you sure? Maybe. Because cause I, I hear that we're whalers on the moon. <laughs> on the red moon, apparently. <laughs> mm. oh, okay. I'm not going to get into that. Well, that's, that's what the guy said. Man, Drachman is like... Punch! Oh, finally. You hit something. Rah. With your big hand, you finally hit something. Good job, Chief. Besides smacking Vice around. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, critical punch! That looks like... vaguely like Captain Falcon doing a Captain Falcon... Oh, yes! He has a great <laughs> victory animation. Yeah. Show that floor his boss. Woo, rank up. Nice. Um, <laughs> continuing our journey, because I have no idea where we're going. Uh, God, this has got to be painful for the people to watch. Kind of. They're probably like, it's hey. behind you. There's a red oh. moon. Hey, look at that! What's this thing? Oh, apparently nothing. Oh. Did okay. you pass it, or did it pass you? Yeah, I think we've definitely gone the wrong direction here. Yeah. Uh, this way! Because why not? Ooh, Lento! And there's a different moon. Well, I apologize, viewers at home, but since I don't edit things, we're not speeding this up, so... Uh... Get ready for some delightful conversation. Hey Shay, have you been playing any games lately? Uh, well, I got a game and I've been wanting to play. Oh? That enlighten, I haven't... Enlighten the crowd. Uh, I... I put it off for a while, but it's Ad Alice Madness Returns. Oh, that game's been out, yeah, for, for a while. Yeah, it's been out for a while, but... Yeah. But also, I've been doing school for a while, so... Well... It, yeah, I, I had to choose school. But not for the past couple months. No, not for the past couple months. Okay. Past couple months I've been playing like phone game type things. Which I love dumb ways. Right. Like uh dumb ways to die. Oh, the T V show? No no no, it's a game. It's absolutely hysterically awesome, and you don't mind dying. I'm so confused about what you're talking about. It's it's dumb ways to die. Uh, okay, you need okay. to download this on your phone. I'm not convinced I do. I think you do. All right, explain to people what this is, or uh, at least to me. Other people are like, Kevin, you're so stupid, and you're like, Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not hip. I'm 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 an old man. <laughs> I still use MySpace. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't still use MySpace. He does. He does. No, I. <laughs> so basically, you're given um, like tasks in the game. Um, let's say that there's three doors, and two of the doors contain a psycho, and one of the door contains a panda. But the psycho mask, like it's white and the eyes are black, and you know, a panda has like the white face and the eyes are black as well. And but the only off. difference uh, is that the panda has uh, black ears. So you have to choose the right door um, Based to off of... pass the, the whole level. But how can you see the panda if it's behind the door? Because there's little windows. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so that's that's one of the challenges. The other one is to get onto a train without falling in between the gap. 
uh, well, we're here. We're where here. the platform and the train uh -oh. is. What is that? It's a, oh, it's a followed patrol ship. On this point is yeah, a fallen empire. Show me your entry passport. Passport? I've got it right here. Take your time looking it over. Watch well, it's fake. <laughs> mm, very well. You may proceed. I was going to say, if it's fake, we should have gone after him and shanked him. See, we should have done what I said in the beginning. You should play more Last of Us if you have a need to shank people, because you make actual shanks in that. <laughs> just throwing that yes. out there. Your turn. Looks like we made it through. We just passed the Volant Security Checkpoint. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah. I thought getting into Volant would be a lot tougher. All we have to do is sneak into... Ah! Bright light! Huh? What's that? <laughs> it's the only entrance into the city of Vala, the Grand Fortress. Vala is surrounded by impassable mountains, so this is the only way in or out. Mm. Wow! I can't believe they actually built something that big! That very impressive. I'll, I'm putting that out there. During the Vala NASA War, over a hundred NASA warships have guarded this fortress for days. However, all the shells were upheld by these walls, and the forts may be the strongest structure of the new world. It's an old world? Ooh. We're learning stuff. Holy crap. Look, it's moving. Oh no. Da da da. Oh, that's, that's a lot of guns. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you tell which one of us is American? Oh, that's a lot of guns. <laughs> it's, it's weird that they put the guns on the outbound lane and not the inbound lane. Just putting that out there. Well, maybe as you're exiting, they don't want you to leave. Maybe. The door of the <gasps> fortress only opens once a day to allow ships to pass through. The back side of the wall is completely lined with cannons. It was one of those cannons that nearly wiped out the entire Nasser fleet. No. Oh. Defense and offense in one? It's an invincible fortress. That's where they're holding Captain Dine and Fina. No prisoner has ever escaped from that fortress. Although I've heard that there's one way out. Yeah. Hmm. Burp. yeah. Really? Then it's possible? With the box. <laughs> yeah, after they execute prisoners, their corpses are thrown off the island. <laughs> With oh. the box. So we should have a solid snake head. <sighs> yeah, let's not. <laughs> That's just great. What are we going to do now? Ha! No one's ever escaped because I've never tried. I love a challenge. I don't. Let's go! Eh. Don't worry, I'll rescue our friends and escape from that fortress. Just watch me. Yeah, you go do it all on your own. What, you're not gonna come with me? Uh -huh. Oh. Cause sure. I would be in a box. Yeah, so. Like I said. I know my fate, okay? I know how strong I am and am not, okay? Just pull out your boomerang, it always comes back. Oh, yeah. And that one time you miss and it clocks you in the head. Yeah, but that's why... Uh, what's his name? Also had a sword, too. I don't have a sword. We should get a sword. Swords are cool. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, these oh. guys. Ramirez. Lord Galsy and the admirals have assembled as you commanded. Oh, we're gonna have to use so many voices. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe you. <laughs> I do this guy's voice different every single time. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> oh gosh. The problem is that when those eyes just like show up, and it's like, how do I remember the voice? Admirals of the Valen Armada, first let me offer my gratitude to each of you for assembling on such short notice. Let it be known that we finally captured a citizen of the Silver Civilization. 
as Empress Theodora requested. My beard and my mustache are two different colored hair. <laughs> don't look at it. I said don't look at it! I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Old Admiral. What? How? That's my, that's my old man voice. Large Admiral. Large Admiral, okay. Uh, yo, so finally captured one. <laughs> Who accomplished this? Oh, uh, there's your favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, how did I do his voice? Uh, it was mm, very like, Of course. Yeah. I'm the one to find her first. I crippled her ship and captured her, but I was mm, betrayed my own vice captain, and she was taken from me. Hmm. Oh, this is the old man. What? Speak up! I'm sure Empress Theodora is very pleased she was recovered. <laughs> now, if we can persuade her to give us the information we need, it'd be worth all the effort to track her down. Yo, you said that the civilization of the citizen of the silver civilization that you found was a woman? Well, that's what I'm talking about, eh? Hey, hey, hey! Now that's something worth getting excited over, if you know what I mean. Hmm? Let me slick back my Johnny Bravo hair a little bit. <laughs> Seriously. How old is she? Is she, uh, legal? Is she good looking? Does she like leather? Whoosh! I like my women wild and crazy, yo. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, here's one for you. What's her name, Beliza? Sure. I haven't been focusing on their names. Uh, I don't know what type of voice to give her. Um... Uh, sexy redhead. Go with that. Oh, it's gonna sound like that Barbie voice from the tavern. That was less... Uh, I don't know. I, whatever. Just go, go for something. Pick something and go with it. Come on, you can't be any worse than what I've been doing. <laughs> no, you're actually doing terrific. You're out of luck, Vigoro. The girl is exact opposite. She even she's very shy and demure. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a weird accent. Keep it up. Her name is Fina. She is currently being escorted to see Empress Theodora in the Imperial Up Palace. Why are you leaving out consonants? I like to. <laughs> Cause her name is Belza. So Beliza. For the record, just for the people at home, is that your French accent? No, it's not. Is it your it's some some something European you're going for, right? Italian? I I honestly don't know. I actually bit my tongue halfway through that, so Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Di loco. Di loco. This guy, <laughs> I feel like I should be doing like a Kefka accent. You know, like Kefka's old, like, fun minds. <laughs> yes. That's his, that's, that was my Kefka voice. Very good, Asmiral Belazaz. I see that you are. Hello? I don't know, don't interrupt. I see that you okay, are an espionage expert for good reasons. Of course, being the head of the weapons development, I have a deeply invested interest in the technology of the silver civilization. <laughs> I'm trying to make him yeah. Catholic. I don't know if that's like purple hair or beanie, but whatever it is, ugly. Mm, I don't believe in beanies. Tooks. <laughs> Tooks. Sorry. I will head back to the Imperial Palace and await Theodora's orders to commence the search for the moon crystals. Fina, our new ally, shall aid us in gathering all six of the crystals from around the world. <coughs> Excuse me. As for you, Alfonso. You died. You lied in your report, and as your punishment, you are now relieved your position as commander of the mid ocean fleet. Oh. <clears throat> and for an indefinite period of time, you shall be confined. Ixataka. <laughs> you, mm, you can't think that I lied in my report, sire. I. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? You were attacked by air pirates, and you deserted your crew and your ship to save yourself. Your ship and crew were released by the air pirates and returned recently. They filed a full and accurate. 
Ooh, busted. Our armada is invincible. Showing any signs of weakness is unforgivable. I trust you will not forget that. This meeting is over. I want all of you to be ready to depart at a moment's notice. Uh, everyone together! Yes, yes Lord, Lord Galsian. Galsian. Whoa. That guy's definitely evil. But I'm happy to pull out my Infanzo voice again. Yes, me too. Hmm, yes. Um, uh, no. Uh, so this is the capital of Vala, huh? It's impressive! It's beautiful, but the skies are so gloomy. Vala is a beautiful city, but because of the fierce thunderstorms caused by the Yellow Moon, the city is surrounded in eternal darkness. Which is also a GameCube game. So, there is a Yellow Moon inside of the city, but there's a Red Moon outside of it? No, I think the planet has six different colored moons around it, and so the oh, city's... Oh, okay. So this is underneath the Yellow Moon, and the other city was underneath the Red Moon. Ah, uh, and I'm guessing that's where we get the crystals. Yeah, we're probably going to have to get some crystal action. That's the Imperial Palace straight ahead of us. The area on the left shore is called Upper City. Let me guess, the one on the right side is called Lower City. Upper City? <laughs> the people of Vala are either very rich or very poor, and they deter detest each other. Only the richest of the Vala live into the Upper City. The less fortunate are combined to the Lower City. It's on the right shore. Imagine that. It doesn't seem right to force them to live in poverty like that. Fun fact, there used to be an upper and lower Canada. Just throwing that out there. But it was not divided into rich and poor. It was divided into English and French. But anyway... Good to know. Hey, Captain! Where should we land? In Lower City, there's a dock that repairs and remodels ships. Aye, aye. I'll bring her into the Lower City port. Yay! We, we, we accomplished something today, people. Yeah. <laughs> Besides me doing very horrible voice because I bit my tongue. That that voice was wow. so weird. I know. I, it really actually still hurts. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Lower city looks worse up close. Everything is so dirty and run down. It smells like garbage. I still need to check the palace out. We need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? Hmm. I'm returning to the docks. I'll be overseeing the installation of me harpoon cannon. Uh huh. Sorry. Who <clears throat> carry a harpoon? <laughs> but there ain't no whales. <laughs> so we tell tall tales. And seen our whaling too. <laughs> I'm sorry, just as soon as he said harpoon cannon, I'm like, oh, we're whalers on the moon. <laughs> let's split up. Icon, I'll check out the city while you get your cannon. When we're done, let's meet back at the inn. Hmm. Sure, I'll see you two later. Yar. Okay. After that, I got me a date with a white whale, and then I'm gonna go kill that monster. A har har. A har har. Is that how he laughs? A har har? Oh, well, it's how I laughed for him when I made my less than nice joke. Okay. I'll be oh. overseeing the modifications that are being done to the little Jack. You go on ahead to the inn. Okay. So we can't come see you and little Jack? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. Let's look around a bit and then we can save. I don't really know what we have to do. What are we doing time wise? 24 minutes? You want to cut it and. I don't know. Or do you want to go a little bit more? Uh, we should probably cut and then. Okie dokie. Go from there. Because you then wanted it to go longer. Long. You can blame Shay. Hey, technically it's gonna still go long. It's just we're cutting it up. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it for us right now. So we'll see you next time on the next yes. exciting episode of Shay and Kay Play Skies of Arcadia. Uh, oh, hey, there's a Hopefully way down Hopefully I don't bite my tongue. No. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Is that something we're supposed to say now on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's something that everybody says, but yeah. Okay. Don't like, comment, or subscribe. Do whatever you want. Although we do have 10 subscribers now. 
which is awesome. And some yes. of them aren't even related to us. And some of them aren't even friends. No. So, thanks for subscribing, because you're awesome. And if you didn't subscribe... And also subscribe, the people that are related to us and our friends, you guys are still awesome too, but... <laughs> yeah, I was saying in general for people who subscribe. But if you didn't subscribe, you may or may not be awesome. We just don't. We just don't know. Your Schrodinger is awesome. We haven't opened. We haven't opened that box. We haven't seen if, if the isotope decayed and released the poison. So we don't know if you're awesome or not. Yes, we Science. may never open the box. Uh, no. We we won't if you don't subscribe. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Uh, have fun. Do whatever you want. Have a good one. I'm Kevin. I'm Shay. And we will see you next time as Vice taps his foot.